we're looking at the four most common VA disability claims and their secondary conditions. Towards the end, we'll talk about how you know if you've developed a secondary condition or not. Whiskey Nine Yankee, 7 November Golf, Robert. The four most common VA disabilities are tinnitus, back pain, knee pain, and mental health conditions. I've pulled this list from VA reports and generalized it to make things a little easier. If you're a data nerd, I will link this PDF in the description. Starting with tinnitus, probably the most valuable 10% VA disability claim out there. Common secondaries of tinnitus are anxiety and migraines. Anxiety is rated under the mental health umbrella and can be rated at 10, 30, 50, 70, and 100%. Migraines can be rated at 30 or 50%. You can see if you develop anxiety and migraines as a result of your tinnitus, your VA disability rating will drastically increase. There are many conditions in the back and most are rated based off of pain and range of motion. Common secondaries for back pain are radiculopathy, urinary issues, and depression. Radiculopathy is nerve damage and rated under three categories, paralysis, neuritis, and neuralgia, and can be rated at 10, 20, 40, 60, or 80%, although the most common ratings for radiculopathy are 10 or 20%. Urinary issues can be rated at 10, 20, 30, 40, and 60%, and for depression, also under the umbrella of mental health, can be rated at 10, 30, 40, 50, 70, or 100%. For knee conditions, most are rated under pain and range of motion. Foot, hip, and back pain are all common secondaries from knee conditions. Foot pain can be rated anywhere from 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50%. Hip conditions can be rated anywhere from 10 to 100% and back conditions lead us to secondaries of secondaries. Meaning, if your knee condition that's service-connected causes you to have lumbar strain, which is a lower back issue, and that lower back issue causes you to have radiculopathy, you can have a secondary of a secondary. And finally, for mental health, this includes PTSD, anxiety, depression, insomnia, and sometimes TBI. A common secondary for mental health is sleep apnea and migraines. Sleep apnea is rated at 30 or 50%, and migraines again is rated at 30 or 50%. When it comes to a secondary condition, you do not have to get an independent medical opinion or nexus. However, when claiming secondary conditions, I highly re recommend the veteran considers it, especially if that initial claim is denied and you're in the supplemental claims appeals process. Here's how you know if you've developed a secondary condition or not. The first thing you want to do is look at your service-connected disabilities and then look at the common secondary conditions. Let's use sleep apnea as an example. Once you've figured out the common secondary, in this scenario we're going to use sleep apnea, what you want to do is then look at the symptoms. Symptoms of sleep apnea are snoring, waking up out of breath, and always feeling tired. If you have one of those symptoms or all of those symptoms, you might have sleep apnea. Once you kind of make that self-assessment, what you then want to do is talk to a doctor. What you're looking for is an actual medical diagnosis. Once you have that diagnosis, go ahead and talk with your accredited VSO, because we use accredited VSOs, and begin to submit an evidence-based claim. It's that simple, no need to overcomplicate it. Claim your secondaries.